Hey folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, hope you're doing well today. I want to take just a couple of minutes and talk about something that might affect you or someone that you know. In the Bible, there's a book called James. Now this is the Lord's brother that wrote this, James the Less, James the Younger, if you will. As a result of this, James wrote about something very important to all of us. He wrote about the tongue. He said the tongue is something that no man can tame. You know, I don't know about you, but I've said things that I wish I hadn't have said. And as a result of that, sometimes we say things that we put our foot in our mouth. It doesn't taste very good because most of the time we do it so quickly we can't even take our shoe off. I wonder, are you a victim of hoof and mouth disease? Or you've taken your foot and stuck it right in your mouth. Well, you probably have done that. I know that I have done that. Now, how do we deal with that particular issue? It's very important to consider the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Now, think about that. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Bible says that our treasures are hid in our heart. What we hold dear, what we want, what we are striving for is hid in our heart. Now let me ask you this. What are your dreams? What do you want? What will would you put in your life to be completed if you could? Well, someone might say, I'd like to have a relationship, or a job, or a different house, or live in a different state, or go to a different university, or have different parents, or have different kids. It could be anything. But here's the important part. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah that God knows the heart. You see, my friend, what is in the heart comes out the mouth oftentimes, and many times when we get angry when we lose our composure. Now, we're on guard most of the time because we don't want people to think bad of us, so we hold our emotions sometimes, and we don't say really what we mean, but sometimes when the teapot blows its stack and the steam begins to come out of our ears, then sometimes we say what we think, and it's really not what we mean at all. It's because something's happened that's erupted inside of us that to ourselves we cannot hold it back. But the Bible speaks to us that God takes the peace that he provides for us and keeps our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus. And that peace is consistent upon my ability to let God have his way instead of me wanting my way. Well, now I want my way. Let me say it this way. Let God have his way instead of me having my way. I want my way. There's no question about it. But I have to also make the decision, do I want God's way more? Well, that will depend on how I respond and how I react. So I want to encourage you today, don't let your mouth write a check. Well, many of you know the rest of that. But let me say it to you this way. Don't let your mouth write a check that your life can't cash. Make sure that what you do, you think about. Now, the Holy Spirit is a gentleman, and he will not put you in a situation that you cannot deal with. He will not challenge you to do something that you're not prepared to do. Take the steps with God. He'll make a way for you. You say, well, Pastor, I've already said things that are wrong. I've already said things, and I blew my stack to someone that I care a lot about. I've been very upset, very angry. In fact, I've broken fellowship with someone that I care about, a friend, could be a loved one, could be a family member, could be a neighbor, could be someone you work with, and you may have broken fellowship with them. How do you get that back? Well, the best thing that I know to tell you, according to Scripture, is to say you're sorry and to mean it. You know, words are just words, but when they're meant, the Holy Spirit can work on the other person. You say, they're not going to forgive me. They may not. That's their choice. Your choice is to make sure harmony is available. With the same lips that you have been upset and angry with, you can say, I'm sorry, and become humble with. That's what God would have us do, because God wants to work out for His glory. Now, just because you say something that's maybe not right doesn't mean you don't love God, or that you don't love God. It just means that you got ahead of yourself a little bit. So don't beat yourself up too bad. Just try to do something about it, and be careful the next time. God bless you, we love you, and goodbye.